G'day. Look what I got in the mail. This won't, I'll probably do another full on review for this, but I just wanted to test it out. I don't want to put it on my kegs just yet. But I'm just going to test it out on the Fermentosaurus. This is one of the quick, dis, quick disconnects with the variable flow control. What I usually pour out of my Fermentosaurus is a very crude setup. And I have to gas it right out. If I let the gas out and just pour very slowly, of course. <laughs> so I've had the beer in the Fermentosaurus in there oh, for about 24 hours at about 14 PSI, which is a couple more PSI than I have my keg set up because that's usually at 12. 11 to 12 and that's about how I have to set it to get a nice pour and things but in summer especially I'd like to up it to 14 and without changing all my lines and lengthening my lines I thought I might be able to use one of these I'll need three of them then flow control disconnects and I don't want to go messing around with my kegs at the moment that are set up in the kegerator because I don't want to mess you know the carbonation's just right at the moment so I don't want to go messing with it so I thought, why not test it in the Fermentosaurus? So what I'll try and show is how it's going to pour out of this. I won't turn it down. I'll leave it at the 14 PSI it's at, and it'll probably shoot out of this. Then I'll set up another quick line on this, probably a little bit longer than this, just because this one's way too short. Uh, and we'll see how we go. It's going to be quite a test. Um, I'll leave it at 14 PSI. Uh, on the pressure and that's probably what it's carved at at the moment we'll see if we can get a nice pour out of this i was i wanted to buy one of those proper uh dispensing handles but uh taps but i forgot so i'm gonna have to take this one off here and use the old picnic tap as i said just a quick test uh before i can finally get more of these and uh set up my whole keg system and see how that goes Excuse the fridge noise. It's night out here, but I hope you can see. It's about 14 psi, and we're sitting at well, we're sitting at about two degrees. That's what it's been at. I've had the door open, and that's what we've got. I've already kegged this beer, but there's that much left, so I haven't got much to play around with. But I just wanted to give a test. So first I'll empty the star scent out of this, just into this jug, and then I'll try and pour a glass and see how we go at 14 psi. Oh, that's pouring slightly fast. And not a great pour. So now I'll just make up the other line and we'll get that on. So in the end, I didn't make it much longer. It's probably, I didn't want to skew it too far, the test. So I've just put the same tap and I've screwed that onto there. Using the uh, Duo type fittings, which I'm really enjoying at the moment. A little bit coming through, I just dropped that little beer. Alright, we're working. All right, I'm not sure how this works. If I screw it, hang on, I'll just screw it right down. And I don't know if that's going to be full on or full off. Oh, that must be off. Oh wow, it nearly turns it right off. Well, I'm guessing it probably does. Alright. So full on, if I screw it right out, which is anti-clockwise. Well, that's pouring, I think that's pouring a bit slower already. So there must be a little bit of resistance there, straight off the bat. 
Well, that's pouring much better. Well, yeah, well, it's pouring fine. <laughs> much better than before. So we'll go halfway, I think that might be. Oh yeah, look, I'm still pouring good. I thought it might sort of dribble out, where it's dribbling out, but it's a full pour. Hmm, interesting. Look at that. Well, it works. <laughs> Let's just push it a bit, eh? I'll turn the gas right up and see what happens. Yeah, all right, we're at 20 psi now. I'll just double check that. I'll mute this bit. Yeah, we're sitting at 20 psi now. So you can hear it going in. I'll just let it get up to that 20 psi. I'll open this right up so we can see how fast it's going to come out. Right, so it's coming out quite fast now. I might just have to get another glass. Hang on. Right, I just turn the fridge off because that sounds annoying me. Got a clean glass. We're at 20 psi. We're full on. And oh, even though it's not too bad a pour, it is a bit fierce. And of course, this beer isn't carved at 20 psi yet. We'll turn it down a bit. I don't know what that is, probably half a turn. That's much better. Actually, that's perfect. We'll go down a little bit more. Just have a look. There we go. Works. 30 psi. <laughs> I won't bother filming turning up to 30, but uh, I'll just just give it a bump. I hope that's not much more than 30. This might explode on me. <laughs> it won't explode. <coughs> I don't know what that's going to go to, but it's well over the 20. Got beer everywhere. I'll open it right up as far as I can. It probably wasn't even a cool. Let's see, it's probably yeah, it's pouring too a bit too fierce. And so we'll back it off a bit. Yeah, that's much better. That could even be a bit slow, to be honest. Ooh, we might have a blockage. Why are we going so slow? I think, oh, you know why we're going so slow? <laughs> This is what I was about to test 30. I've run out of beer to pour. We're right down the bottom in the gunk of the Fermentosaurus. That's a problem. Anyway, that was just a quick test. Bugger that last bit didn't work properly. It was because I ran out of beer. But, um, yeah, well, they work. That's good. Because that means what I'd like to do Instead of changing all my lines again, because I only changed them not long ago, I'd like to bump up my PSI a little bit. I sit at 12, I'd like to go up to 13, 14, and every time I've tried to do that, you know, you end up pouring too much foam. Well, I reckon if I use these, I could do that easily, get a really nice high carb beer, not high carb, but mid to high carb beer, like for summer, and not have to, you know, lengthen my lines and, and muck around. Anyway, we'll see when it comes to that. I just thought I'd do a quick little demo now because I was interested and I thought I'd put the camera on and my mates wanted to see. So uh, there we go, eh? Works. I'll leave a link down below if you want to check them out.
Cheers.